guys, DMV Solar Rider back with another ride in the DMV. Although today is actually one of those not in the DMV, but because I can get there and back in a day, it is for me. <laughs> Hopefully, it will be worthwhile. We are in, where are we? We are just past York, Pennsylvania, and I think it's Wrightsville, PA. And today we're going to take a scenic cruise down the Susquehanna River. I'll put the map up on the screen. We're going to cross the Conowingo Dam and then head all the way back up past Lancaster. And then cross back over where we started and then take a 100 mile highway ride back to Virginia. I didn't bother filming that ride because, I mean, <laughs> if you're from the DMV, you know there's not much to see on the Baltimore-Washington Parkway or the Baltimore Beltway, which is pretty much what you're on to get up here. Anyways, uh, I'd certainly appreciate if you hit that like button. I put my ride or ride-related videos out on Fridays, so hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell. And you'll be made aware when I post a new video. I'd certainly appreciate it. So today's ride, it's just a ride. I wanted to be out on my bike. Uh, the description that I read basically just said it's, you know, pretty scenic views, etc. Uh, I don't recall. I don't think there were really any twisties to speak of. Maybe a few here or there. That's pretty. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, I think this is going to be a real nice ride, guys. For today's ride, and I'm already starting to regret it, I'm putting my Chin GoPro in regular view, not super view. I know you've probably noticed in some of my other videos that my head moves back and forth a lot. And that's basically me checking my rear view mirror, my side view mirrors for cars behind me. I check a lot. And the back and forth of the camera was driving me nuts when I was watching my videos. And I think to some extent it has to do with super view. It kind of exaggerating the motion. I think just as when you're going around a curve, super view stretches it out and makes it so you can't really tell how you know how tight is that that turn like if you watch Seneca Rocks at one point I put a note on the video saying look at my nav screen to see how tight these turns are because you just can't tell oh that's pretty you just can't tell in super view so today we're trying a regular view because I want to see if it gives you a better, more realistic view of the road as I see it. Hopefully it will be worthwhile. I already know, I did a little test this morning. You're not going to see both hands on the handlebars, I don't think. That kind of sucks. I love that view, I think it's cool. But it's more important to me that you get a, a non-distorted view of everything we're going to see. So we're going to try it out. I'm sure there's a GoPro setting where I can press a button and switch back and forth between views. But I didn't think about that until I actually got up here. So <laughs> we're stuck with this for the ride. Oh, this is so pretty. I just want to go swimming. It's not that hot out today compared to other days. But man, I still don't have access to a pool wave so the other thing I wanted to talk about was a comment that I received on the video I did on my short rider 6,000 mile review of the Indian Chieftain and it was an awesome comment you know I didn't think to make note of the gentleman's name but he left a comment just thanking me for making that review. He's a 5'7 himself, same height as me. He's really interested in a chieftain. But he said he was a bit intimidated because of the size and weight of the motorcycle. And my review 
really helped him be comfortable with the idea that he could ride a chieftain and he's riding cruisers already and I don't recall the cruisers off the top of my head I guess I need to do a better job on my vlogging homework but I mean he wasn't riding any little tiny bikes he was riding some good motorcycles so he'll be fine with the power on the chieftain oh no we're leaving the river I, <laughs> I don't want to leave the river truck stunk oh we were supposed to go straight see whoever did this map they have little turnoffs where you can stop and get a view and at first I thought they were just map errors and I've been skipping them like a dope well, I guess there are there's one twisty at least if you look at my nav screen <laughs> see I'm already disappointed the ride is not keeping us on the river is like Seneca rocks and that beautiful highway so getting back to the comment I can't tell you how thrilled I was to get it the idea that someone to watch my review and say thank you that helped me so much make you know a step towards a decision that's right for me I mean you can't beat that I loved it, it made my day so yeah if you guys have a comment or a question by all means, uh, put them down in the comment section of my videos. Uh, don't hesitate to shoot me an email. Email is dmvsolorider at gmail.com. Surprise, surprise. And I will respond as soon as I can. Oh, I do love my farmland rides. I'll tell you that much, guys. Well, guys, I want more river. I want more river footage. It was 84 degrees in here. That feels nice. All right, this is a good ride. This is a ride I really, it's a little curvier than I thought it was, which is nice. Or maybe it's not curvy. I just don't know any better. <laughs> That's another reason I really want to make sure that I get the accurate view of the road because just because I say something super twisty you might not think so at all but if all you have to go on is my opinion you're getting the opinion of someone who's only been riding for a year twenty miles an hour Ooh, got some strain in there oh wow that is a serious decline wasn't expecting that This is a great ride guys already. Adventure bike. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> Just be careful when you get to this part of the ride. Freaking gravel everywhere. It's really irritating me. River looks a little uh, dirty. <laughs> hmm, we want to swim in there. It's slimy. Now this is the Conowingo Dam. I hope I can stop. I can't stop. I'm still here. Water well, looks a little low. <laughs> Maybe that's the point of the dam. Something like that. No pull-off area? Come on, guys, I need to get a picture. Even though this dam is pretty damn ugly. A picture is better than nothing. I guess not. Well. Wow. That's a pretty road right there. See, this road should be right alongside the river. That's what I thought I was getting today. That is gorgeous. So, it's a fun ride. I'm very happy I came out. I would do it again in a heartbeat. If I felt like spending a day on my motorcycle. The, mar the kind of the, the first leg before you cross the dam is much twistier than I was expecting. Not not interested in that today for whatever reason just not feeling it Again, nowhere to stop for picture time. I could stop on the shoulder here, I guess, but I think I care enough. This is so weird, we're high water here, nothing here. I don't even know what's over there, I can't see. It's 
creepy. So we're just about done with our ride, but I think there's a big, pretty bridge to ride over. We might as well catch it in here, too. Get it while you can. Well, guys, that's going to do it for our little ride along the Susquehanna River. Heading back into Wrightsville. And then back on home to Virginia. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that ride. If so, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. My videos are out on Friday, so hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and that way you'll know when my video is out. I thought this was a fun ride. I enjoyed it. I definitely was not up for tight twisties, so for me personally, a little disappointing. I was really under the impression this was gonna be a lazy cruise along the river only got a little bit of river so I would like a lot more and this is just gorgeous by the way and uh, you know so it wasn't really what I had a hankering for today kind of like uh, Seneca Rocks when I once I got on that amazing highway I just that's all I wanted I, I think I still feel that inside like I need a beautiful amazing cruise right now uh, but you know that's okay <laughs> There's always the next ride. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed today's ride. I highly recommend it. I'm still rolling out some of my test ride videos from uh, Indian Demo Day at Fredericksburg, Virginia. Hopefully you'll enjoy my ride of the 2020 models, so look for those coming soon. And other than that, uh, I will see you on the next video. Take care.